Hey everybody, um, today we're gonna try to figure out, do we have a problem with our battery? We are, are not sure, I guess. I mean, I wanna say yes, we have a problem with the battery, but to be honest, while I do know like the fundamentals of how power works, and I'll link to that in um, the description below because it's an article that people have found helpful. I, I don't have a good sense of how to troubleshoot what, you know, do I have a problem with the battery? And if so, what might that be? So we're gonna go old school. We're gonna do something very simple, which is we're gonna pull the cover off the camper. We got about a week of good weather coming up and that will eliminate any potential that the cover that we have could be interfering with the solar panel's ability to do their job. We're gonna charge the camper for 24 hours and then we're gonna test the power um, over the course of a couple of days and make sure the battery is really holding a charge. So I'm also guessing that there's a tool that you could buy that would allow you to immediately check out your battery to see if it is or is not working. So if you happen to know how to do that, please feel free to write some comments below with a link to um, a product that might help other people figure out how to do it less the old school way. Here's how we're gonna do it. So we store our camper in our driveway with a cover on it. And so we're gonna take this cover off. And I think the, the challenge with all these questions about, do I have an issue with my battery? What's going on with my power is complicated by the number of variables. It's just not super straightforward for most of us. And we had um, the heavier camper cover on our HC1 and it wasn't available on the HCT when we got her. So we decided to just get um, something off of Amazon and the cover itself works great. But when talking to Happier Camper about, hey, could we possibly have an issue where the solar panels aren't doing their job because their cover's on them, what they can tell us is that their cover um, is thin enough to allow for charging through the solar panels. I, I don't know if that's true for this one. So we're gonna do our little experiment. A little bit colder today than I thought, but uh, yeah, Mike's gonna get us plugged in. In case you're wondering what that looks like on the HCT. All right. Nice Ooh. job. Cold. <laughs> okay, 24 hours is up. We're going to head outside. And man, I hope it's not as cold as yesterday. <laughs> and we're going to unplug the camper and then we're gonna give it another 24 hours. Let's see where we're at. Okay, so Mike is going to do day one test. You can see it's really overcast. It's 4.30 in the afternoon, so it is darkish out. It's cold. And it's cold, but let's see where we're at. Okay, mm -hmm. day one. We have light. Battery, we have lights, and what's it say? 13.8. Yeah, good. Good, good. I'm happy with that. All right, day one. Pass the test. No battery problem on day one. Okay, here we go. This is day two of the big test. Let's see where we're at. Different day, different jacket. <laughs> I think you had the green on last time we did it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, we have... Good, and it's actually gone up to 14. It was 13 yesterday. That's a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Solar panels. Yep. Do day, their job. Day two. You know what we're going to have to do after we do day three is we're going to maybe have to then plug some stuff in. Like right now, the fridge isn't plugged in. Why don't you do that? Why don't you plug in the fridge? Because even though it's not on, it will have some draw. And let's see where we're at on day three based on having that plugged in. Okay, day three. My husband is uh, not happy about the cold. Okay, so before you turn anything on, hopefully it works. This test is with the fridge plugged in, but not turned on. How does the lighting work? Yes. 
Yeah, that's like we came on. How do we look? 13.5. Okay, good. All right, so let's, so it's plugged in. So why don't we do one more day of test? Let's turn that baby on. In case you were wondering what this it looks, looks like. It's like. on anyway, actually. Oh, is it cold in there? Put your hand in there. Yeah, it's okay. cold here as well. Right, well, I know that. Um, yeah, so then, does that complete our test? Possibly. You gotta come out in the light so we can see you. So I think that might've done it. I don't know that there's anything else that we would do. I just wanna test this baby. Yeah. I could do with a haircut. You could do with a haircut. So in an act of solidarity with my husband, I too am going to do the last part of this video with a bad hair day. Okay, so what do we learn from all of this? We have learned that there has got to be a better way to do this. It was fine, the approach that we took, that we did our little test drive for a couple of days and changed some of the variables that you know we could think of. But um, it's gotta be a tool. Somebody comment below, right after you like and subscribe, on what tool we could have used so that we could have done it in say, I don't know, five minutes. Thanks everybody.